All right, everyone, this is Vega back uh, after uh, recharging the batteries. And uh, we'll take a look here at uh, how our FPS is going to change based off of uh, going to PCI Express 3.0 versus 2.0. So just to verify everything, coming back into our uh, 3 times FW900 four-way GTX 680 setup here. System information, nothing's changed. Driver, 30110, and 3D settings. For all of these tests, every single thing, it remains the same besides the PCI Express uh, bandwidth change. And here up the top, you can see PCI Express 3.0. That's see there's slot number one, 16 times. And then slots two, three, four, are all at to eight times 0.3.0, when they used to be at 2.0. All right, so we got to launch our trusty Battlefield 3. Go them to the same spot. And remember, I also did these tests with uh, Heaven 3.0, and uh, they were just, uh, just as dramatic. Alright, so we'll go ahead in here and verify our settings on the video. Alright, everything is set uh, exactly as before in the uh, first test. We'll go ahead and load up that campaign. So once again, um, everything is set the same, CPU is the same, bus speed, base clock, um, drivers, nothing has changed, only the uh, PCI Express link speed. If you remember from the uh, very first uh, video, um, as these troops unloaded from the APC and the scene stopped, we were getting a 69 to 70 FPS. And we'll see what we get now under PCI Express 3.0. If you've seen the uh, benchmarks already, you pretty much know what's coming. And also, if you remember before, the uh, GPU utilization because of the uh, PCI Express 2.0 choking them was only uh, slightly above 50%. Alright, so we'll pan up to uh, the precision readout. Alright, we'll see we're already up to 120-something. Uh, and look at the GPU utilization is into the high uh, 80s now into the low 90s. There's 126. Frequencies of memory are all the same. There's 130. And it stabilizes. Uh, before where it stabilized at about 69 to uh, 70 FPS. This stabilizes right into the uh, 130. 130 range. So you can see the FPS has essentially almost doubled because PCI Express 2.0 was uh, bandwidth limiting them so much.
and we'll zoom out. You can see everything will be uh, nice and smooth as we walk forward here. And you can see VRAM limit is pretty much identical to where it was before. Around uh, 200, about 200 MB below the uh, maximum. All right, so there you have it, uh, PCI Express 3.0, especially for very high resolution surround and affinity with, uh, you know, three to four GPUs, you definitely want to uh, go with 3.0 versus 2.0. All right, and uh, we'll do one last thing here. If anybody is interested in uh, a little tweak that is, I guess, somewhat known, we'll go back to the desktop. And if I want to lower that VRAM requirements, I'm going to open up the BF3 folder, right-click on BF3 EXE, go to Properties, go to Compatibility tab, click on Disable Visual Themes and Disable Desktop Composition, hit OK. Now, I'm going to rerun BF3. We'll launch the same exact uh, campaign and everything just like before. And what this will do is, uh, if you notice the taskbar at the bottom, it's an error right now. It's kind of transparent. It will change to a solid color right there. It says the color scheme has changed. Now that's fine. What this is going to save us is uh, some VRAM that's just sitting idle um, in the buffer there from Windows to use the desktop. And the good part about this is when the game's done, arrow comes back on and you're good to go. So there's pretty much no reason not to do this tweak. All right, let's see, BF3 just loaded in a window for some reason. We'll go ahead and maximize that. All right, and we'll go back into uh, the settings page here, just show you that nothing has, uh, nothing has changed once again. We'll hit back, campaign, resume. So before we were averaging right around uh, 1800 MB in the scene, we'll see what we get now. Alright, so let's take a look what we got going on here up top. Uh, okay, now look at the VRAM change. 1465 before it was like very high, 17, 18, and then uh, up to 1800. You can see I've saved uh, over 300 MB VRAM by just doing that small change. And you can see the FPS is still holding good. And there's 134, that's the highest I've seen in this particular spot. Remember, I haven't moved. 134 right there. GPU usage is nice and high. And you can see it's just destroying the PCI Express 2.0 numbers. And as we we'll go ahead and move forward, and if you remember in the original video, I came out to this intersection and we messed around with uh, 
HBAO, and that completely uh, decimated the uh, VRAM numbers. So we're going to go to video. We're going to turn on SSAO, apply full strain back and we're going to see, let's see what has that done to our VRAM numbers. So right now I'm only at uh, 1600 MB of VRAM and you can see everything is everything is nice and smooth so SSAO didn't use much more VRAM, only about 100 MB more so that was basically for free and you can see they're hovering right at about 1602 MB so we're going to go back into video, turn on HBAO, and let's see what happens here. Alright, return the game. And do a little spin around. Alright, so now we are up to just under 2000 MB. And I'm going to spin around, let's see if we get any of those FPS drops that we got before. Now it's holding strong, it's not breaking 2000 MB. FPS is still really high, and you can see that uh, turning off those two options on the desktop when you launch the game pretty much gave me free HBAO worth of VRAM, and everything is running nice and smooth. So there you have it. Uh, just post or reply any questions uh, below uh, about these videos. Thanks.